That is what I am talking about. Thank you very much. Took those notes. Be impeccable with your words. Don't take anything personal. Don't make any assumptions and do your absolute best. That's that's what I'm talking about. Well, congratulations and you you can tell ladies and gentlemen on why this this woman uh, got Sapphire done and why she's not going to be there very long. So we are so so proud of you, Miss Harris, and uh you keep up the great work. Look forward to giving you a huge huge hug on stage in Las Vegas, Nevada as as fellow rubies. So congratulations once again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the the baton has been handed off to me. I'm going to go ahead and close out this call. It's not going to be long. As I said a few minutes ago, I had the absolute privilege of really for the first time seeing a a blue going black diamond in action. I I've, I've seen him from the stage briefly, but you really don't see somebody until you, you get to spend some quality time, maybe see him actually give a presentation or a four-step training, or if you're fortunate enough, as, as I was last night, to be at what we like to call the meeting after the meeting. And for those of you who are going to your very first event in Las Vegas, we will get you prepared. We'll get you prepared uh, as far as what you need to do uh, going into that meeting, knowing sure that you're going to make the make decide to make a decision but also to stay close to the fire and you see a diamond sitting around in the lobby having a conversation you go up there you take notes because that's where you're really going to get the nuggets we'll we'll learn a lot in the big events and in, in the big rooms but it's really the meeting after the meeting where everything comes through and there's one thing that I'm going to share with you about last night's experience with Mr. Suleiman uh, Black Diamond Rockman and he was talking about he was in the in the shower <laughs> talking about him in the shower and he was just thinking about his journey to Blue Diamond. I mean just imagine half a million dollars in one calendar month, five hundred thousand dollars in volume and what he had done and, and, and what he and his amazing wife had been through and just the sacrifices and the belief and I found out the story that on, on the morning of the hold on the morning of November thirtieth he was actually $93,000 away from hitting blue. $93,000 away on the last day of the month. And he had never, ever done that much volume in one day. And, and, and he, he had his moments. But he made it. He made it. He believed. He executed. He got it done. And he was just thinking about what, what he had accomplished and all the people he had helped. But now, because he had gone through that experience, how many more people he was going to help. And he literally teared up. He literally teared up and was just crying all by, all by himself. And then he shared the, the point of the story. The point of the story was he had that experience around November 14th. Now, what does that mean? He, he had that vivid experience of looking back on what happened and how he was excited and, and how he was feeling, but he had it before it happened, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Bugs calls that an instant pre-play, pre-playing the experience you're going to have because you know it's already done, as Ms. Harris shared with you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to talk about very, very briefly, imagination. I need you to imagine what it's going to be like when you feel the way that you want to feel. We're not talking about pin levels. We're not talking about income today. We're talking about the feelings that you want to have. Just imagine, and, and my challenge for you is, when you imagine these feelings right now on this call, wherever you are, when you imagine these feelings, I want you to feel as if they're happening right now. Feel them. And, and, and something magical could happen, at least for some of you on this phone who are paying close attention. I want you to imagine exactly how you want to feel right now. And when you're imagining them, I want you to feel that way. I want you to feel happy. I want you to feel healthy. I want you to feel strong. Feel excited. Feel calm. Feel comforted. Feel respected. I want you to feel wealthy. Feel successful. Feel rested. I want you to feel attractive. Feel blessed. Just feel it. How does it feel? And for those of you who realize that those words that I spoke evoked a thought 
and in many of you who were paying attention, hopefully you weren't driving, you, you actually felt at least a little bit better imagining how you'll feel when you get it done. When you, when you get that, when you look, hit that refresh on the screen, it says Sapphire Consultant, or when it says Ruby Consultant, or when it says Emerald Consultant, or when it says Diamond Consultant. You, you'll know how it feels when you, when you, when you, you look at the bank account and, 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 it, and it makes you smile. When, when you pull out a credit card, knowing it doesn't matter which one you pull out, that it's going to run, you're not going to worry about it. When you go into a store and you look for what you want and you don't worry about what the price tag is, you just make the purchase because that's what you want. That's how you're going to feel every single day in every single way. How do you feel right now? And if you feel better, as a result of this little exercise, then you realize one of the secrets, and that is that you are in control. You are in control. You're in control of how you feel every single minute of every single day. There is nothing in this world, and I, I can't talk about physical pain. I just can't. I can't talk about it because I've been blessed and I haven't had to go through that. Yeah, I had appendicitis once, but, you know, that, that doesn't count. For, for something that many of you are going through right this very minute. I, I can't talk about physical pain, but I can talk about every other feeling that we have. There is nothing in this world, there is nothing that somebody can say, think, or do that can make you feel a certain way if you don't give them that control. You are in complete control. And if you have the ability to say it right out loud, I am in control. I am in control. I am in control. I am in control of how I feel. Every single minute of every single day, the weather can't affect how I feel. Uh, the, the news can't affect how I feel. The, 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 the score on, on, the, on the scoreboard during a, a football game can't affect how I feel. And maybe there's something I'm doing right now that, that's making you feel a certain way. That's the good news. The good news is, yeah, maybe some of us have the ability to, to help you feel a certain way. But that's the good news. It's also the challenge. Because if I can make you feel better, somebody or something can make you feel worse. So it's good that I may be saying something right now that makes you feel better. I have that blessing or I have that ability to be able to do that but you need to check yourself and realize that if I can make you feel better something or somebody else can make you feel worse and you said that's, that's something you need to work on because I'm not in control of how you feel you are you're in control you are in control of how you feel Ms. Harris shared about discovering your why re realizing what this is all about it always starts out with you is understanding why you joined Organo Gold, wh why you make those sacrifices, why you'll be in Las Vegas, why you keep going through, why, why you're spending time away from the ones you love the most for the short term so that you can spend the rest of your life there in the long term. You have to understand what that is for yourself first and then for every single member on your team and every single person that you speak with. When you discover that, and remember that then there's nothing that can stop you you are in complete control it has been such an amazing once you get that a couple days ago man it was it was yesterday the day before my wife and I went buying now of, of course still you paying attention there's a difference between going shopping and going buying because I knew we were gonna buy something now we didn't go to the Louis Vuitton store yet we didn't go to the Gucci store yet. We didn't go to the Prada store yet, knowing that we were going to walk out there with something. We went to Macy's. Hey, believe, go into Macy's. Please go into Macy's. I'm not sure if they have them all over the United States, but here on the West Coast, they have Macy's, you know, kind of one of our higher-end stores, and their theme <laughs> is believe. Believe. They got believe all over the store. I might have to go there every single day just to be reminded. Just visions of believe and believe and believe and signs and all that kind of stuff. And there, there's no happier time that I had than the last couple of days when I was spending time with my wife as she was looking for her Las Vegas dress. Yeah, you know the one. The, the one that's going to make you look better than anybody in the room. That one. Yeah, and, and those shoes that just have to match, those shoes you've been searching for literally your entire life. I didn't know how hard women look for shoes. Man, oh my goodness. 
looking for them shoes, those perfect shoes, the one with the perfect height, make you feel a certain way, you know, have a certain strap across, all, all those perfect things. And the stars were aligning, and, and, she, and I was looking up at the fitting room, and it used to be a place that the, the last place I wanted to be, actually the second last place, first last place is I didn't want to be in a dentist chair. Uh, but I sure didn't want to be in a waiting in a fitting room waiting for my wife to come outside because that was just like torture before. I'm not sure. I think I realize now why I was tortured because maybe I was afraid that I was actually going to have to buy something. I don't know why, but I, I just hated that. But I was just smiling two days ago, smiling because I knew that we were in the middle of a, of a, of a work day for so many people. And my wife was inside just having fun, just just trying on dresses. And, and for those men out there, when, when, when your wife comes out in that dress for the first time, especially there's a, there's a different type of feeling when you see uh, someone that you love come, and, come out in something that they really like and it just fits them, right? And, and she came out in this dress and it was like, that's it. And here's my vivid experience. My vivid experience is she walked out and I looked at her and I said, yep, that's the one. Let's get that one. And I didn't ask how much it costs because it didn't matter because my wife was worth it. My wife was worth that dress. Oh, my goodness, it was worth that dress. So, ladies and gentlemen, whatever motivates you, whatever, whatever, whatever drives you, and some, for some people it's the money, that's okay. But it's never the money. It's always what you're going to be able to do with that money. But it's the feelings that you feel. Many people, most people, many people, probably everybody on this phone, have spent their entire life chasing something chasing grades chasing jobs chasing promotions chasing money chasing cars chasing iPads chasing technology chasing something and this that's never been what we've wanted we never wanted those things we wanted what those things were enable us to achieve but we didn't even want that we wanted the feeling associated with that true or false you don't want a lot of money you may want money so you can buy something, but you want to buy something, you want to have the feeling of what it's like to have it. And feelings are free. Feelings are free just like dreams are free. And when you realize that, when you realize who is in control, you can feel that way every single minute of every single day. And when you do that, the law of attraction just, just kicks in. And I, I don't, I'm not going to say that I get it. I'm just saying I'm getting closer every single day. Because there's something about it. There was something about it. I was in, I was in Costco yesterday thinking to myself that I'm going to see this person. A person who I care about very much. A person who's part of this journey in Organic Gold. A person who, you know, had, had got, I won't say distracted, but she's focusing on things outside of the business because that's what this person believes that they need to. And I said, I, I need to see this person. I need to see her. I need to see this person face to face. Because the calls haven't really been returned. But, you know, I, I, I'm worrying about them. I, and, I, and I know that I need to see him. And I said, I'm going to see this person today. I'm so confident I'm going to see this person. What I need to do, what I really should do, is I should write down on a piece of paper that I'm going to see this person so that when I see them, I can show it to them as proof that I, that I attracted that person into my life that day because I was thinking about it. it my, my life has changed almost like those of you who have seen that Oprah clip about the secret, how she was dreaming about the color purple and singing about it and doing all kind of praying about it and just believing it and speaking it day and night, day and night, day and night. And then all of a sudden she got that call from Steven Spielberg. That was my moment yesterday. It was my moment yesterday because I was in Costco. I was supposed to be in and out to pick up a picture, but because of the, the Christmas whatever, I had to wait an extra hour, which brought somebody into my life that I was able to share the plan to who's gonna get into the business, but I had to stick around for two hours inside of Costco, and as a result, that person walked into the Costco yesterday. And I just thought, I just felt, I knew it. So there are many people on this phone who don't believe that yet, and that's a shame because it works. It has to work. What, why in the world would somebody doubt something as, as, as proven as the law of attraction when other things that they can't explain they take for granted? 
How is it possible that I can speak something and think something and believe something and it happened? How is that possible? Why do we keep talking about belief, 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 belief? It must work. Mr. Bugs does it. It must work. Mr. Eminite does it. It must work. Mr. King does it. It must work because all these other successful, wealthy, happy people are doing it. There must be something to it. How dare we doubt that when there's proof all the time right in front of us and then we'll take something for granted like what's happening this very second. How is it possible that each of us could be listening to this real time on a little, I don't, it's just a thing, a, a cell phone? How is it possible you can pick something up, touch a keypad, and suddenly be connected with hundreds of people spread out all over the United States? How is that possible? How, how, how can you accept that as, oh yeah, that's just technology, and doubt that believing works? That makes no sense. If a cell phone can work, then belief can work. If a television can work, then belief can work. If electricity can work, no one even understands how this stuff works. They just take it for granted because they see it every single day. Oh, okay, I can just flip a switch and the light comes on. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we focus on belief, I got this the other day, just another epiphany. You can attribute it to whatever it is. The reason why be belief works and why we stress belief so much is because it's the belief that drives your actions. That's the key. That, that's, that was the missing piece for me. Why is it always talking about belief, belief, belief? I was with Casey Nielsen a couple of um, weeks ago when she came to, to California to bless us with her 23-year-old diamond going blue diamond presents. And I asked a few questions about, you know, working the business and growing the business and going to the next level. And then one question I asked her was, Casey, what are you doing differently to go blue? Blue diamond, of course. Casey, what are you doing differently to go blue? And without hesitation, she looked at me dead in my eye and said, believe more. Why is it when I need that, those words of wisdom from my upline, black on crown diamond, it always has something to do with belief. Believe bigger, bro. Believe. Oh, you got you, you to believe bigger. Why is it that? Because it's the belief that drives your actions. But we know it doesn't start with the belief because if your words aren't right, you can't think about it. This is the only variation that I, that I just kind of enhance or switch around just a little bit. Because most of what we hear is that it starts with your thoughts. I don't think it starts with your thoughts because I can't control my thoughts. If you just let yourself think randomly, it can go anywhere. Your thoughts, I believe, believe start with your words. Your words are important because it's your words that create your thoughts it's your thoughts that determine your beliefs and it's your beliefs that determine your actions and it's your actions that's going to get it done this month words come first the words you speak out of your mouth and the words you allow coming into your ears and those words that are going around inside your head that are called thoughts but it starts with your words speak the words properly correctly positively every single day and it will happen so ladies and gentlemen believe bigger Imagine what it's going to feel like when you walk into that room in Nevada, in Las Vegas. You walk into that room and you feel the energy. Can you, do you, when was the last time you were in the room with that many people? A lot of people, I haven't been to a football game in a long time, and I haven't been to a concert for even that much longer, but you know how it feels, right? You just feel the energy. Napoleon Hill called it a mastermind. Just imagine 15,000 plus people all on the same page, all in OG, all just believing of what's getting ready to happen, all in anticipation of what did Mr. Bugs prepare for us this time. 15,000 of just people screaming and the music is playing and you know that everything that's happening is happening for you. Can you feel what it's going to be like? Oh, I, I, I can't wait, but I love it because the day before Christmas is better than Christmas. Actually, I, I'd love to wait. I, I, on one level, I can't wait. On the other level, I wish that Project 50,000 Las Vegas was in December 25th, 2012 because I could feel like this, anticipation, expectation, every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, compare how you're feeling now, that excitement, that joy, that relief, that happiness, that calm. Just, just compare that feeling right now with what 
could happen. It's not going to happen to anybody on this phone. I know that for sure. But what could happen if you didn't do what you know you could do, should do, and you get to that room, or maybe even worse, somehow, some way, you're not in the room, and you miss it. You miss it, and you, 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 the, the excuse has been removed from your life forever. The moment you got on that conference call and heard about what is going to happen, the moment that you got to that first coffee and jazz mix before you even got into the business and realized where you were at this moment in time, the excuse was removed for the rest of your life that you didn't have your chance. You have that chance right now. And this isn't even an opportunity. I, I wish people would stop calling it that. It's not an opportunity. It is a way. Because the four steps have been proven to work. So when you do those, they work. We just can't, we just don't know who's going to do the work. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. This is happening right now. This is your Microsoft moment right now right now when we come out of Las Vegas the world will know about Organo Gold when we get into February and we get in Success from Home magazine the world and I mean the world because it's on the it's gonna be on the bookshelves of the world you're gonna be able to call somebody in Atlanta or in London or in Mexico City or in Manila and say yeah just go to your local bookstore and look at Success for Home that's my company that's the one I've been telling you about that's the one that if you had gotten in earlier, you could have been in that magazine, but it's not too late because now we're taking this to the world. This is your time right now. And it's your decision on whether or not you're going to be a part of it or not. Because we're going to keep on moving. Our job is to care enough about somebody to share with this information, allow them to make an educated decision, and if they want to be a part of this, we'll help them make money. If they don't want to be a part of it, we'll still love them, but we're going to keep on moving and find somebody who does. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a privilege to speak with you this, this morning. I have no idea what time it is. I'm not sure how long I go, but Mr. King uh, has stopped time, so I, 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 you know, <laughs> I, it, I, just share, I just shared what I wanted to share. So with that, I'm going to open up the, the line and see if we have any leaders or anybody on the back line who has something they want to say before we go out there and just get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the calendar. It is December 9th. As Mr. King has challenged us, especially during this month, this is the last weekend of the month. December 9th, December 10th, December 11th. That is December 29th, December 30th, December 31st. Change your calendar right now. Just write, just cross out today's date and put December 29th because that's what today is. And tomorrow is the, before the last day of the month and Sunday it's, it's over. All right? Everything. You're one gold pack away today from going sapphire. You're one gold pack away from going ruby. You are one gold pack away from going emerald. You're one gold pack away from going diamond. Mr. Blue Diamond King, you're one gold pack away today. Personally sponsored gold pack from going Blue Diamond this month. If you were that close, when you are that close, what are you going to do? So with that, we're going to go ahead and open up and see if we have any leaders on the back line who have something to say. We'll go out there and just get it done. Any leaders on the back line have something to share? <laughs> 